Hi, I'm Jason Collins, and in this video, I provide some examples of present bias using the beta delta model. For the first example, we'll consider the following pair of choices presented to an exponential discounting agent and a present biased agent and contrast their decisions. Choice one, would you like $100 today or $110 next week? Choice two, would you like $100 next week or $110 in two weeks? The exponential discounter has delta equals 0.95 and utility each period of u of x equals xn. Would the exponential discounter prefer $100 today at t equals zero or $110 next week at t equals one? When we worked through this problem in the video on exponential discounting examples, we calculated that the utility of $100 today, u naught of zero 100 equals 100, which is less than the 104.5 that we get from calculating the utility of $110 in one week. That is u naught one 110. The exponential discounter will prefer to receive $110 next week as it leads to higher discounted utility. For choice two, would the exponential discounter prefer $100 next week at t equals one or $110 in two weeks at t equals two. When we went through this problem in the exponential discounting examples video, we calculated that the utility of receiving $100 in one week, u naught one 100 equals 95, which is less than 99.275, which we get from calculating the utility of $110 in two weeks, that is u naught two 110. The exponential discounter will prefer to receive $110 in two weeks. The set of decisions across choice one and choice two are time consistent. If the exponential discounting agent selected $110 in two weeks for choice two and was given a chance to change their choice after one week, which is effectively an offer of choice one, they would not change their decision. The present biased agent has delta equals 0.95, beta equals 0.95, and utility each period of u of xn equals xn. Would this agent prefer $100 today at t equals zero or $110 next week at t equals one? The discounted utility of the $100 today is u naught zero 100, which equals the utility of $100, which equals 100. The discounted utility of the $110 next week is u naught one 110, which equals the utility of the payment today x naught, plus beta times delta times the utility of the payment at t equals one, which equals beta delta u 110, which equals 0 0.95 times 0 0.95 times 110, which equals 99.275. As u naught one, uh, 0 100 equals 100, which is greater than the 99.275, which you get from calculating u naught one 110, the present biased agent will prefer to receive $110 this week. What of choice two? Would this present biased agent prefer $100 next week at t equals one or $110 in two weeks at t equals two? The discounted utility of $100 next week is u naught one 100, which equals the utility of x naught, the payment this week, plus beta times the utility of x one, payment the following week, plus beta beta delta squared utility of the payment the following week. And here, given the payment is in week one, it equals beta delta u 100, which equals 0.95 times 0.95 times 100, which equals 90.25. The discounted utility of the $110 in two weeks is, it, that is u naught to 110, again, equals the utility of payment this week, plus beta delta times the utility of the payment the following week, plus beta delta squared utility payment, pay, payment of the week after, which equals beta delta squared times utility of 110, which equals 0 0.95 times 0 0.95 squared times 110, which equals 94.3. As u naught one 100 equals 90.25, which is less than 94.3, which equals u naught to 110, the present biased agent will prefer to receive $110 in two weeks. If we consider those two choices by the present biased agent together, we see the following pattern. 
For choice one, the present biased agent will prefer $100 now to $110 in one week. Their preference for benefits now due to the short-term discount factor beta leads them to prefer the immediate payoff. For choice two, the present biased agent will prefer $110 in two weeks to $100 in one week. They are willing to wait longer for a larger reward with both outcomes in the future and subject to the short-term discount factor beta. Consider what would happen if this present biased agent selected the $110 in two weeks in choice two, but after one week, we asked if they would like to reconsider their choice. They are effectively being offered choice one. This would then lead them to change their mind and take the immediate $100. This combination of decisions is time inconsistent. The present biased agent's actions are not consistent with their initial plan. We can see this change in preference in the following diagram. The vertical bars represent the payments of $100 and $110. The lines projecting back from the bars to the y-axis represent the discounted utility of each payment at each time. There is a kink in the line projecting from the $110 in two weeks, representing the effect of the short-term discount factor beta. At t equals zero, the discounted utility of the $110 at t equals two is higher and that payment is therefore preferred. At t equals one, when the $100 is no longer discounted by the short-term discount factor beta, it suddenly becomes more attractive. If offered on that day, it would be chosen in substitute of the $110 due in another week. For a second example, assume there is a present biased agent with beta equals 0.75, delta equals 0.9, and utility each period of uxn equals xn. Would this agent prefer $10 in five days, t equals five, or $20 in 10 days, t equals 10. The discounted utility of the $10 in five days is equal to, is u naught five $10, which equals beta times delta to the five times utility of $10, which equals 0 0.75 times 0 0.9 to the five times 10, which equals 4.43. The discounted utility of the $20 in 10 days is u naught 10 $20, which equals beta delta to the 10 u times $20 equals 0 0.75 times 0 0.9 to the 10 times 20 equals 5.23. As u naught 10 20 equals 5.23, which is greater than the 4.43 for u naught 5 10, this present biased agent will prefer to receive $20 in 10 days. Five days pass, so that now we're at t equals five. We ask the agent if they would like to change their mind. The discounted utility of the $10 today is U5, five, $10 $5, equals utility of $10 equals 10. The discounted utility of the $20 in five days equals U5, that being period t equals five, we're making a decision, 10, 20 equals beta of delta to the five U20 equals 0 0.75, times 0.9 to the five times 20 equals 8.86. As U5510 equals 10, which is greater than 8.86, which is the utility at T equals five of, of, of $20 in 10 days, this present bias agent will prefer to receive $10 today. They have changed their preference between the two payments relative to their decision at T equals zero. We can see this change in the following diagram. The vertical bars represent payments of $10 and $20. The lines projecting back from the bars to the y-axis represent the discounted utility of each payment at each time. There is a kink in the line in the period immediately before each payment, representing the effect of the short-term discount factor beta. At t equals zero and through to t equals four, the discounted utility of the $20 at t equals 10 is higher and that payment is therefore preferred. At t equals five, when the $10 is no longer discounted by the short-term discount factor beta, it suddenly becomes more attractive. If offered on that day, it will be chosen in substitute of the $20 due in another five days.